Good evening and good evening. I am Sanchi Kick and welcome back to Let's Play Beyond the Beyond. Let's see. That's right, I remember now. Over here. I need to inspect the inside of Bandor Castle. No, we, we actually kind of explored the inside of Bandor Castle, I think. But we have to go above? Okay. Uh, left, right, I forgot which way do we go. Um... Dang it. Let's see. Should not be that way. Ugh, come on. Surprise me, who will you strike down after the Dark Bishop? Aim for his middle rock! That or destroy one of his feet. Maybe he'll topple. Or he'll at least lose his balance. Or knock off his head, I don't know. Seeing all these clay golems makes me want to rewatch Galaxy Quest. <laughs> Okay. Uh, look for its weak point! It's a rock! It doesn't have a weak point! Well, that's just rude. Come on, talk, do something fun. Not bad, thank you. Just noticed that main character's VP is starting to get low. Uh, I mean, multiple people have been hit, so... Annie, if you don't mind. Thank you. I think it's this way. Unfortunately, I'm not too sure. Yes, this looks familiar. Why can't I go up the stairs? Won't you let me go up the stairs? This is annoying, because if I don't take care of the Dark Bishop, he's going to heal anyone else I injure. But because I went after the Dark Bishop, the Hellhounds will now start using their Fire Breath, which can do a decent amount of damage. Or they'll tackle the person with the least DP. Ooh, smart. Thank you, Samson. Come back! All he did was die, but he gained a level. And my voice, I can st st tell that it's still a little cracked, it's not 100%. I am... I'm, I'm not really ill anymore, it's just being stubborn. Most of my illness is pretty much gone, it's just that 1% that doesn't want to go away is still there. <clears throat> I think it's this way. 
Or it's not this way. This looks better. Right. So this way... If I can just get past it. I don't care, Dark Bishops. I don't care if there's... How many of you are there? I've killed like a hundred of you by now. Thank you. Be gone. Thank you. Alright, now that the Dark Bishops are gone, for those who don't remember, last episode we found out that our father was not actually our father, that, um... It was actually a Sir Nolan? Norlin? And our mother was a princess. And we are the Great Light or whatever that supposedly saves the world from disaster. Of course. Because some world-ending disaster is going to happen and only I, the main character, can solve it. Actually, that's one of the interesting things about, um... What game was it? I think it was Dragon Quest V. Where the whole game, you go through all these trials, and, you spo and supposedly there's some great hero that can save or protect the world or something. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't remember all the details right. And one of the aspects of the game is that you are, you actually go and get married. <clears throat> and you actually choose your bride. If it's the original, then... Um, then you only choose between your childhood friend or this beautiful woman. In the re-release re on the DS, or 3DS, I forgot which, you have another option, which is the beautiful woman's older sister, who's also a beautiful woman. Um, is this the way? I think so. But either way, the whole point of the story is that it's not you, the main character, who's the legendary hero, or the one who will save the world. It's after years passing the game. You have a son, and you find out he's the one who can wear the legendary equipment, not you. So you actually raise the legendary hero, it's not you in the first place. Which is actually pretty awesome. Um, it's nice that they did something different. Then you could recruit monsters to join you in battle, which was honestly awesome. Slime Knights are the best. They do decent damage, and they heal. Go and you go. Oh, come on. Wish I had a slime knight right now. As, well, you know, the Dragon Quest series, I mean, I talked about five. Um, which five I did enjoy, though I never beat, but I got pretty far. Um, is it here? Yes, it is. Oh, right. <coughs> Excuse me, one moment. So, sorry about that. I figured we were in a volcano. Okay, let's see. Um... Let's see, of the Dragon Quests, I haven't played all of them. Let's see, I've played... Always some... Have I 
Have I played four? I might have played four. I don't remember. I've played five for sure. I've played six. I've played eight. Nine. I don't remember 10. I think 10 is an online one? I think. I could be wrong. And I think 11 just came out. Uh, which I I don't have yet. I'm, uh, I'm debating if we should go for it or not. We'll see. Dragon Quest is, a decent, is a, actually a pretty good series. My only complaint is that... um. There is so much, so many side quests that sometimes it takes some of the fun out of it because sometimes you have so much to do already. Not side quests, I'm sorry, not side quests. Um, they throw so many quests into the main storyline that sometimes feel like they're out of place or they're kind of pointless. Like, almost like it's too excessive. Like, at one point I had to go here, but then, but in order for me to do something here, I have to go over here, which means I have to go there. Which, okay, finally I did this, so I can go back to the main first part, but now since I did that, I have to do this thing, so I have to go to this other location to do this, this, and this, just so I can do this and that. At least that's what it feels like to me. I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just don't have patience for RPGs anymore like I used to. I think it's this way. I could be wrong. Go away. No one likes you guys. But, um, my favorite would be Dragon Quest V. Like, I had a lot of fun with that one. Even though I never beat it, I, I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed choosing a bride, in, in the, especially in the DS version. When you meet the third potential pride, you'll understand why. <laughs> um, I enjoyed the recruitment of monsters, getting them to join you. The storyline was really good, and it got dark at places too. Like, wow, some some events got really messed up. Am I supposed to go this way? I don't know. I'm lost. That's where I have a gold key, don't I? I don't know anymore. I know nothing anymore. Someone help me. Please help me. Robe of Darkness. Oh, that that sounds inviting. And you can't equip it? Maybe it's cursed. I don't know, I'm just guessing. I only say cursed just because, um... A bat? Okay, sure, whatever. In Shining Force, some very powerful weapons were cursed. They'd give you a wonderful boost in attack, but they would paralyze you sometimes during battle. Which gets very frustrating at points. At certain points in the game. Supposed to go this way, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, other Dragon Quest. I think Dragon Quest 6 basically looks like a purple haired Gohan on the cover. That one was weird, and I felt like 
I feel like it did. It pulled what. It did what Far Cry 3 later did later on, which got on my nerves. Because at some point, you know, there's a main bad guy who's done terrible things, etc., etc. But what really gets on my nerves is that, it's, like in Far Cry 3, you beat the main bad person. Wow, he's kind of big. Oh, he looks big. Anyway. In Far Cry 3, at some point, you know, you, you fight the main antagonist. And it's like halfway through the game, or three quarters through the game. After that, it's like, oh, well, his boss is over here. Or the real villain's over here. And it makes me go, what's the point? This is the main bad guy. This is the one who's been doing all the bad things to me. There, there's no mind control, mani mind manipulation, like in Final Fantasy IV, where the main bad guy turned out he was actually being controlled and brainwashed. But here, it's just no. You know he's the bad guy. He's not brainwashed or anything. He's doing it because he wants to do it. It was him all along. So once you beat him, it's kind of like, well, what's the point to continue the game? If you beat the boss, if you beat the guy who put you through hell, who cares about anyone else involved? You've achieved your objective. What else is there? And Dragon Quest VI, I think, uh, did the same thing. Well, long before Far Cry 3 came out. Where at one point, you know, there's a main bad guy, you know, you guys work together and you actually defeat him. Only to find out, oh, guess what? There's actually someone else there, or another villain there, or some other nonsense like that. And it's kind of like, well, why should I bother? This was the guy threatening the world. He's taking out the picture. Well, you know, what else do we need to do here? Go away, please. I just taunt, if you don't mind. Please. Let's see, Dragon Quest 7. I never played that one. 8 was fun. But I never got too far in it. Um, it wasn't bad at all, um, but I feel like overall 5 had the better story and characters. Well, yeah, I feel, no, yeah, I feel like 5, Dragon Quest 5 had the better story and characters. It's a lot more memorable, the story leaves you a much la stronger lasting impression. Um, like, the main character in 8 does go through some trials and some events in his life. Yes, he does. But 5 goes through so much more. Like, the main character loses a lot in the very beginning of the game alone. I, I honestly don't care, treasure chest. <sighs> Sorry, it's not making you work overtime. Let's see, Dragon Quest IX was... That one was only on the DS, that one was interesting. Or 3DS, I forgot which. That game was interesting because you basically created your fighting force. You modeled, you, you know, you created your character. You, like, um, you know, you make, you determine whether their gender, what they look like, etc. Um, and you create your allies as well. At least from what I remember, anyway. It wasn't bad at all. Oh, 
Okay, hoping this is the right way. Don't. Where am I supposed to go down this way? Is this location of what happened to Sir Kevin's? Okay, we, we, we got a wyvern. Hey, where's your uh, rider there, Mr. Wyvern? Is there is Jill nearby? For those who don't know, that is a Fire Emblem reference. So I go through all this only to find out. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, there's the the the, the, the the there's a staircase. You know what? Goodbye. Chill. Never mind. Back into the cave. Okay, let's see. Um... Back we go, back we go, back to the volcano. Right? Wait a minute. Did I screw up? Ah. One moment, everyone. So I did a little exploring. Well, first of all, I'm back. Sorry about that. And that big long bridge that goes to nowhere, right next to it, there's another cave. So I think this is where I'm supposed to go. There we go. Yay. No, then why are we here? Is there no point? Why is there a cave here? Oh my goodness, hold on. Okay, I think I got it. I think this is where we found the golden key, so sorry. Okay, so I need, I need to double check this. This isn't working, all we did was... All we did really was fight monsters and we're hurting because of it. Alright, there we go. We're gonna end things here for now, mainly because it's taking time and I'm actually pretty tired. So we will end things here. Everyone, thank you for being patient with me. Sorry I couldn't find the correct pathway. Uh, hopefully I can find it next time. But either way, until then, have a wonderful evening. Thank you for watching and farewell.